In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at the features of VivoCab's Rider and Driver app version 4, our innovative white-label ride-hailing solution designed to enhance your transportation experience. VivoCab's is designed to help business owners launch their own transportation companies with a comprehensive app that allows passengers to hail a ride and drivers to charge fares and get paid. This product comes with a back-end platform and two applications, the Rider's app and the Driver's app. The back-end platform is exclusively accessible to the owner, also known as the platform's admin. Through this interface, the admin can efficiently manage various aspects of the service, including the list of drivers, riders, ride requests, ride ratings, vehicle types, registered cars, and ride complaints. Additionally, the admin can configure settings that influence app functionality, such as driver permissions and subscription models. Once the admin has configured the backend, both the driver and rider apps can be launched and made available for download. These apps are compatible with both Android and Apple devices and can be found on their respective app stores. Let's start by exploring the features of the driver app. After downloading and opening the app, users are directed to the login page. Here, they can either log in or register by entering their phone number and verifying it with an OTP. Once logged in, users are directed to the home screen of the driver app. VivoCabs features a streamlined yet sophisticated interface. At the top of the screen, the driver's name and current work status are displayed. To the left, there is a bento menu icon, while the right side features a ride request list icon. Below this section, the driver's current, unchangeable location is displayed. At the bottom of the screen, a summary of the driver's daily report is shown, including the total time of the current session, the number of completed trips, and the day's total earnings. Tapping any of these arrowheads will lead the driver to a detailed account summary page. Here, drivers can view their current balance, completed trips, daily earnings, today's trips, current rating, and total rated trips to date. To see a list of all completed rides, tap the View Detailed Reports button. This list is also accessible from the Account Management section under Your Rides. Use the available filters to view reports for specific days or periods. To see rides completed on a particular day, tap the arrow icon next to the date. If no rides were completed on that day, an error message will be displayed. Returning to the home screen, tap the bento menu icon to access the account management page. Here, drivers can manage their account, including adding emergency contacts, exploring FAQs, changing their subscription plan, viewing their current subscription, and contacting the admin. Note that drivers can view their account details but cannot edit them. To update their information, drivers must contact the admin via the Contact Us page. As a multilingual platform, drivers can adjust their language preferences using the Change Language button. Only the languages added by the admin will be available for selection. Drivers have the option to accept three types of rides, Instant Rides, Go Rental Rides, and Package Rides. Instant rides are simple rides that a person can book on demand. Go rental rides allow riders to book a ride for a specific amount of time and distance limit. Package rides involve picking up and delivering a package to a specified location. Drivers can select which types of rides they want to accept by adjusting the settings. To activate a ride type, they should turn on the corresponding toggle. To deactivate it, they should turn the toggle off. VivoCab strictly adheres to GDPR policies, allowing drivers to request the whereabouts of their information or to have their account and data permanently deleted. However, if they just want to log out of the app, they simply need to tap Logout at the bottom of the list. The app also includes a digital wallet feature, enabling drivers to receive payments directly from riders. In the wallet, drivers can view all transactions, add funds, and withdraw money. Note that drivers must maintain a minimum balance as set by the admin and can only withdraw amounts exceeding the minimum withdrawal limit. Once everything is set up, drivers can go online to start accepting ride requests. Nearby ride requests will automatically direct them to the ride requests list page, 
which is also accessible via this icon. From this page, drivers can accept or decline ride requests based on their preference. Once a ride request is accepted, the ride process begins. Now that we've covered the driver app, let's move on to the rider app, explore its features, and learn how to book a ride. Once the riders app is downloaded and opened, they will be directed to the login page. To log in, the rider must use their phone number and verify it with an OTP. However, if a new rider is trying to log in, they will be redirected to the registration page, where they need to enter their details, agree to the terms and conditions, and create their account. After logging in, the rider will be taken to the home screen of the app. Vivo Cabs features a sleek, user-friendly interface. At the top of the screen, the rider's current location and a bento menu icon are displayed. This icon directs riders to the account management section, allowing them to easily update payment details, access FAQs, and contact the admin. Riders can also update their information directly by tapping the edit icon, a feature not available to drivers. They can also adjust their language preferences by tapping the change language button and selecting from the options added by the admin. To participate in the referral program and start earning rewards, riders can visit the refer and earn section to obtain a unique referral code or link to share with friends. Riders can also request the whereabouts of their data or permanently delete their account. However, if they want to log out from the app, they can do so by tapping logout from the bottom of the list. Riders also have a digital wallet, similar to drivers, which facilitates smoother in-app payments. However, riders can only add money to their wallet. To view transaction details, simply tap the view transactions link. If a rewards program is active, earned points will be displayed above the wallet balance section. These points have a validity period, which can be viewed in the Reward Points transaction list. The Your Rides page allows riders to manage their rides. It features separate tabs for recent rides and upcoming rides. Riders can select a ride to view its details and download the complete invoice by choosing Download Invoice. To file a complaint about a driver or a ride, riders should visit the Help section, select the relevant issue, and add their comments. On the home screen, Riders can manage their saved addresses under the Choose Saved Places section and review recent rides in the Recent Travel section. To rebook a ride from the Recent Rides list, tap on the Ride Details and the app will automatically start the booking process with the same pickup and drop-off locations. With this said, riders can book four types of rides from the Vivo Cabs app. 1. Instant Ride Instant rides are simple rides that a person can book on demand. To book an instant ride, tap Let's Go or the current location field. Update the pickup address by choosing a saved address, selecting the current location, entering a new address, or choosing a location on the map by moving the pin to the desired spot and confirming the selection. To schedule the ride for a later time, tap the scheduling option and set the desired pickup time. Next, select the destination address by entering it manually, choosing from saved addresses, or selecting it on the map. To add an address to the saved addresses or favorites list, tap the heart icon next to the address, give it a name, and tap save. Proceed to select the vehicle type. To review each car's details, such as rate per kilometer, base fare, and charge per minute, tap the info icon next to the vehicle and choose the relevant option. Apply any available coupon at this stage if applicable. Select the payment method. Note that the payment will be processed using the selected method upon reaching the destination. To book a ride for someone else, tap personal and select choose another contact to pick a contact from the phone book. Ride details in the OTP will be sent via SMS to this contact and the driver can also reach them directly. Once all details are set, tap Book to finalize the booking. For rides scheduled for a later time, the home screen will appear after tapping Book. 2. Package Delivery Ride Package delivery rides involve picking up and delivering a package to a specified location. 
To book a package delivery ride, tap package. On the package delivery page, indicate whether the package is being sent or received. Next, update the pickup information, including the address and the recipient's name and contact details, which can be entered manually or selected from the phone book. Add a note to guide the driver. Then, provide the drop-off information, including the address, contact details for the person at the drop-off location, and an additional note for the driver. Once all information is entered, tap Submit. This will display a section with the price and related details. Apply any available coupon at this stage. Payment for the package delivery will be processed from the wallet, as it is a prepaid ride. The wallet balance will be shown below the payment section. If the balance is insufficient, use the Add Money link to add funds, following the prompts. After verifying all details, tap Book. The app will then start searching for nearby drivers offering package delivery services. 3. Rental Ride Rental rides allow riders to book a ride for a specific amount of time and distance limit, such as 3 hours and within 100 kilometers. To rent a vehicle, select Go Rental. Review the rules. If required, schedule the rental for a later time. Then, update the pickup address and tap Next. Select a rental package based on the duration and distance required. Review the list of available vehicle types for each package by tapping the info icon for details and payment breakdown, which includes the driver allowance fee. If a discount is offered by the admin, the original price will be struck through with the discounted price displayed below. Additionally, if the distance traveled exceeds the package limit, an extra charge will be added based on the admin's rate per kilometer. Next, apply a discount coupon, if applicable, and choose a payment method. For rental rides being booked for someone else, tap Personal and choose another contact. Once everything is set, tap Book to finalize the booking. The app will begin to search for nearby drivers providing rental ride services. 4. Biddable Rides For biddable rides, riders can propose their own rates for the ride. To place a bid, tap Make a Bid. Update the pickup address and the destination address. Proceed by selecting the vehicle type based on factors such as the number of passengers and vehicle rate. Select the payment method. To book a ride for someone else, tap Personal and select Choose another contact to pick a contact from the phone book. Once all details are set, tap Make an offer. A section will appear allowing the fare to be edited. There are three options to choose from, 1. Average fare rate. This rate is calculated based on the rate per kilometer, rate per two minutes, and base fare set by the admin for the vehicle type. 2. I'm in a hurry rate. This rate is 25% higher than the average fare, with the percentage increase set by the admin. 3. Enter a custom fare rate. If a rate lower than the minimum rate set by the admin is entered, an error will be displayed along with the minimum fare details. After setting the rate, tap Done. The ride and bid offer will be broadcast to all nearby online drivers. Each request will include the pickup location, distance, ETA to the pickup spot, and the quoted fare rate. Drivers have three options when responding to a bid. They can decline the request if they are unavailable, accept the bid and proceed with the ride, or counter the bid with a new offer. The counter bid options include a 10%, 20%, and 30% increase of the original quoted rate. Updated bids from nearby drivers will be shared with the rider, who can either accept or decline them. If no bid is accepted, the rider can increase the fare amount and submit a new bid. Drivers will respond accordingly, with some potentially offering a higher fare while others may accept the rider's fare. Once a bid is accepted by a driver, the ride commences, allowing the driver to message or call the rider and use the navigate button to access Google Maps for directions. It is important to note that the driver may cancel the ride even after accepting it. Simultaneously on the rider's app, the driver's details will be displayed, including the vehicle number, name, rating, OTP, to be shared with the driver before the ride starts, and the estimated time of arrival at the pickup location. The driver's real-time location will also be visible on the map as they approach. While waiting, riders can message the driver, call them, share their live location, 
or share ride details with friends and family. If necessary, the rider can also cancel the ride. Upon arrival at the pickup location, the driver must swipe the arrow right to indicate that they are ready for pickup. After the rider enters the vehicle, the driver can start the ride by entering the OTP shared by the rider. With this, the ride begins. The rider can track the route via the app. If the rider or driver navigates back to the home screen, the ongoing ride can be accessed via the respective buttons. In case of an emergency, both apps have an emergency button. The driver's app also includes a refresh button in case of any technical glitches. Riders can also add a tip for the driver during the ride, which will be included in the final bill. Upon reaching the destination, the driver needs to mark the ride as completed by swiping the arrow right. The bill will then appear on both apps. If a tip was given, the driver will see a firework animation along with the updated price on their app. For automatic payments, the bill will be deducted accordingly and marked as paid. If not, the rider must pay in cash. After the payment is completed, both the rider and driver can provide their feedback, marking the ride as complete. The driver will then start receiving new ride requests from nearby locations and can choose to accept a new ride or go offline. Overall, VivoCabs is designed to meet the highest standards of the transportation industry, making it an excellent choice for those looking to launch a cab business. Get in touch with us today to experience the future of transportation and build your own ride-hailing app with VivoCabs.